Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today we will work one pattern from Easter collection. What is inside this egg? Let us see, but you already know you clicked on the thumbnail, right? So we'll work this little lamb. Look at this. Very small, super cute and very easy to crochet and it's fast also. This is one more pattern from this collection that we will be working together here in this channel. Okay, uh, this is the egg. The egg, we don't have it here on this specific YouTube tutorial, but you can find a pattern and it's a very easy pattern to follow. All of these other patterns, it's also on this YouTube channel. Okay, each inside had a surprise. Now let's begin with this pattern. We will start here with a magic ring or a magic circle. And I'm working with a contrast color. So I chose two colors for this lamp, little lamp, right? I'm working with gray and white. So inside the magic ring, you will work six single crochet, okay? If you don't know how to make the magic ring, check out the links in the description of this video. There is a tutorial dedicated to each stitch and technique I use in this uh, pattern, all right? But from here, you can see pretty much how it's done. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we pull this tight. And we'll move on for round number two. You will work six increases. Here, when I say increase, that means you will crochet two single crochet inside the same stitch. Okay, so this is my first and second. Moving on for the next stitch, again, two single crochet here and so on. All right, that is the increases. I will move a little bit fast here. And one thing that I want to show you is that I like to double secure the beginning of my yarn and how I do this is that I, uh, I take a tapestry needle and I wave in this tail inside the first round of the toy. I always like to do this because this makes sure that it will be secure and neat. Moving on for the third round now, I will add here a stitch marker. In my case, I like to use a different, a piece of a different color yarn. And for round number three, you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of the round. So very simple here. First repetition here we work with you. Oops. Okay. And moving on. One single crochet, one increase. You will repeat all the way around. Okay. So I'll show you one single crochet, one increase. One single crochet, one increase. Repeat all the way until the end. And this is how it should be looking like. Okay. So now you will work a bit different from for round number four. You will work with back post single crochet. So you work 18 back post single crochet. So the back post is when you work between the posts of the crochet. All right, as you can see here, grabbing from the back to the front. That's why it's called back post single crochet. There is a video only about the back post single crochet here on this channel. If you know, if you don't know how to make the back post single crochet, and if this video is fast for you, take a look there. This is one of my favorite stitches. I like it very much <laughs> how it looks like. Okay, so work all the way around. And once you reach the last back post single crochet here, we will work a color change because then we'll start working the body of our little lamb, okay? So now here for, for round five to 10, you will work 18 single crochet, okay? So it's very simple and very easy. So this will give the height here of the little body of this small amigurumi toy. All right, so you can cut this thread, you don't need it anymore. And here I'll just give a simple knot, okay? I did the most basic, uh, basic, the most basic color change uh, possible here because 
I go with the flow, you know. Um, there is a video tutorial here only about the color changes and you can check that out. I give you four most used options. Usually this is not how I change color, but this is how I did it this time. Okay, so you can see it here, round number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and that's it. We will stop here. You can cut this yarn and you can finish this off, fasten this off this tail. You don't need to worry too much with, with being neat or something here. Just make sure that your yarn is secure because this will be inside of the toy. You will see when we are connecting the head and the body together. Okay, so I'll just leave this inside for now and leave it on the side. We will start working the head. All right, for the head, I'm working with the gray. Okay. And uh, once again, you work with the magic ring. Here, you will repeat the beginning of the video. All right. So inside the magic ring, you will work six single crochet. And then for the second round, you will work six increases. And then you should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. All right. And then for the third round, you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of the round, as you can see it here, just like the beginning of this video. Okay, that's why I didn't do it again. This one increase, uh, one single crochet, and one increase. Now we will continue working on from here. So for round number four, you will work two single crochet, one increase, repeat six, six times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so first repetition here we work together, one and two, and this is my increase. Okay, repeat all the way around, and I will catch you up here. Great. For round number five, you will work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 30 stitches at the end of this round. All right, and this is where we will stop with the increases, okay? So let's see it here. One, two, three, increase, and you repeat all the way until the end. I will catch you up. Great. Now we'll give here the height of uh, the head of the, our little lamb. And for rounds number six to ten, you will work 30 single crochet. So here it's easy peasy. You can stop the video here, work all your repetitions, and I will catch you up for the round number 11. All right? Super good. So here, as you can see, this is my last uh, increase, and you have 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All the rounds here are done. All right? So now let's move on for round number 11. It's when you we will start decreasing this toy. So you work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches here at the end of the round. For Amigurumi, we use the invisible decrease, which is when you grab only the front loop of the next two stitches, okay? And that's how it should be looking like. One, two, three, and the decrease is here. If you don't know how to decrease, there is a video tutorial only about that. Okay? Super good. Now for round 12, you will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So once again here, I grab just the front loop. And my invisible decrease is done. Repeat all the way until the end. And that's it. This is where we will stop with the head. Okay, you can cut the yarn, leave a tail here for sewing. And now we will add a bit of stuffing material. I like to send this yarn here to the back side, like to the wrong side of the toy or to inside of the toy. This will help when we are sewing later the pieces together. So stop here now, add your stuffing material, and we will continue from here. Super good. So look at this. This is the head. Very nice. Now let's move on here. 
we will start working the ears of this little lamp. So you work the first round six single crochet in a magic ring. Okay, so you already know how to do the magic ring, the six single crochet inside. Once you are in the last single crochet, you will work a color change. And then here we will do a little bit different for the second round. We are working the ears here. So we change the color to the white, which is the, our other color, and you will work two increases. Okay, so this is my second increase. And then you will work two increases double crochet. So before you are working increases single crochet, now you will do increases double crochet. So this is my, wait here, this is my first double crochet and my increase here inside the same stitch, okay? Once again, because it's two increases double crochet, so now I'm on the stitch next to it and I'm doing again one increase double crochet. All right, so now we have two stitches left and you will work two increases, two normal increases with a single crochet. So I will do here two single crochet on this one and two single crochet on this one. So once again you have in total 12 stitches here, but from these 12 stitches the first four is single crochet, the next four is double crochet and the last four is single crochet again. Okay, and this is what we have for the ears. We can cut this thread, we don't need it anymore. And we will wave in all of those tails here inside of this ear here in the in the first round. So I will show you here the first one. And you will do that with all the tails, remaining tails, but of course the last one, because the last one you will use it for sewing in the toy later, okay? So just like this, this is enough. And waving in. Okay, my stitch tension is really tight. Let's cut this off. And you do this with this other, with this other two tail, remaining tail here. Once you're done, this is the back side and this is the front side. And you see that it's a little bit curling. We want that effect. It's a good thing. You make another one. And now we will move, we will move on for these little arms, which is the easiest and fastest thing to crochet with the slip knot and your contrast color. You will, you will chain three, okay? You will skip the first chain and you will work two single crochet and that's it. That's the pattern for the little arms of this little lamp. Everything is little here. You see that I like to work in my chains, in the, my foundation chain, I like to work in the third loop, which is the loop that it's behind the chain, but you can use it and work uh, the way that you're used to it. Here I show you how I like. There is no right or wrong. You can do it the way that you're used to it, okay? So like this tiny little one, you will do another one. Very fast. Ta-da! Okay, now let's start assembling this. So you add here stuffing material as well in the body and we will sew these two together, okay? Here we have this is the first round and this is the second round, right? We will sew this in the second round of the body. That means that the two rounds will be inside of the head. I like to do it like this because it gives a structure and it's tough, it's nice, like sewed, you know? So I always crochet a couple of more rounds that will be inside of the head, never mind the sizes of the toy. When I'm crocheting the toy, okay? So first and second here. We will grab this one. So we connect the back sides of both pieces, back side of the head and the back side of the body, and we will start crocheting together. Okay, not crocheting together, sewing it. This. If you know me here, if you've been here in this channel for some time, you know that usually I crochet my toys from bottom to head all in once. Usually I don't sew the head, you know? 
but sometimes for some patterns that I designed, I saw the patterns, the, the limbs combined. But I like to work my patterns with the minimum sewing required. But this is very easy to sew. As you can see here, you grab one stitch from the head, one stitch from the body, you have 18 stitches on each, you know, and you have these extra rounds, which make it even easier to see the stitch, in my opinion. So you just go sewing this together. I will stop here because by now you can see it exactly how it's done. And once you're done, look at this. So this is the bag, all connected together, and the front. All right, so the body is done. Now let's start working the <laughs> little hair of this lump, the curls, the beautiful curls of this little guy. Okay, so here we will introduce the yarn. This is basically how I do. I do the most basic way. I will use a pin here to secure this yarn over here. We will fasten this off, we will wave in later on. Right now it's not important, but just make sure that you have some remaining tail that you can use it later for fastening off. And here you'll chain one, two, and three. Okay? And then you will connect with a slip knot. And that's it. This is the process that you will make all the way until finished this uh, little hair, okay? So always make the same repetition. Three, uh, three chains, one, two, and three, and join with a slip stitch. That's it. You will work this all the way in the first round of the head, and I will show you here how, will we, be, how we will be going uh, advancing this. You see, we will have this front side here that it's left. We will leave seven rounds here from the top here of the head until the bottom. There is seven rounds and with 12 stitches from one side to another. Okay. So here you see one, two, three, four, five, six and seven it's here okay is the length here that we left all open this is the back side so now let's measure here 12 stitches on one side and on the other side so okay this is the back so i will count here i will count here from the center so this is the center i will count here from the center six stitches okay so until here we will leave it open and from here on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We will leave here 12 stitches uh, free, okay? So I just want to mark here because all the way around we will start crocheting. Let me just count. 12 stitches, okay? So we were working here all the way in a spiral on the top. Now we'll work back and forth, uh, back and forth, like back and forth. So that's how we're gonna make. And then one round here, this first round, we will work as well on those stitches here, just one time, okay? The rest will be left unworked. And this is how it should be looking like. <laughs> Look at this. It's already so pretty, even without eyes, without anything. We can now just uh, crush the, sew the ears on the side. And again, very simple. So let's just open here. We can see, we can find the space. And because you work like three chains, three chains, three chains, and connecting with the slip stitch is very full and nice, this hair. I really hope it's nice for you to work like once you get the flow you work it very fast. So here I want to show you how I sew this the ear of this little lamb which is very very easy. So it's just a couple of stitches here. I give two stitches here. Look at this. How beautiful is this one? I will just give it 
one more stitch up watch out so you don't take the hair by mistake and i will bring here somewhere outside okay so this looks very nice to me i will work the other one and i will catch you up here you bring this the tail to the same stitch here on this side this is what i want to show you both of the leftover yarn you bring outside the same stitch and you give a very tight knot here so this way you will not have any loose end inside of your toy okay they will be all connected together see press it very tight you cut this and now you can hide it inside of the toy okay this looks very nice to me organize the hair and let's move on here we will um <laughs> we will now sew this little arm look at this my godness so cute and this is very easy and very fast like it's nothing special the way that you do this you just make sure that also you bring the yarn to the same stitch outside of the toy so once again you can give that tight knot that we spoke about it okay so i will do this with the both uh endings okay so now here on this next one i will bring it down and you can do it the same with the other side and then you make a tight knot with all of those yarns together so the both uh, arms will be uh, fast enough and they will not unravel you won't have any loose end so i'll do it once here with this and the other one connected as well now i will embroider the eyes of this little lamb if you're using safety eyes or any uh, plastic eyes you can check the exact position that i sew this in the reading pattern it's in the description of this video and but for now i am just watching here what it looks symmetrical to me i will leave this tail outside of my embroidery thread because once again we will give a tight knot once we are done all right so here how i embroider the eyes all of my toys i do embroider the eyes and how i do this is just by a lot of repetitions i make a lot of straight lines until they are they achieve the size and the shape that i want so i just go making a lot of repetitions here as you can see and once once i think it's fine and it's looking nice the way that i want i stop and i move for the next one okay now once again i will show you here how do you uh, make sure that this thread is nice and secure inside of the toy and nothing will come out okay then you cut your thread and you hide it inside of the little lamb okay let me organize this and look at this little cutie your little lamb it's ready look how tiny it is i hope you enjoyed this pattern uh, i made another one in a different color look at this so it's his uh, friend uh the pattern for the egg it's in the description below so you can check that out and you can finish everything all together i see you on the next thursday bye